In this video, I'm going to cover the advantages and disadvantages of using BSP brushes inside Unreal Engine 4. And there are some things you need to be aware of as you use BSP brushes. So as we covered in the last three videos, the importance of using BSP brushes for your level designs and your environment blackouts. And I showed you the in-depth level creation workflow. So you saw how the BSP blackout fits into the entire production pipeline. But you do need to know the advantages as well as the disadvantages, which we haven't covered yet, of using BSP brushes. So the main advantages of BSP brushes and using them inside UV4 are BSP brushes are created and used right inside UV4 editor. Under place mode, geometry, you have a set of BSP brushes that you can use right away right as soon as you open up UE4 Editor to create your world geometry. This means that as soon as you have an idea for a playable level or a standalone game environment to create, you can jump right into UE4 and test it out. Another advantage of BSP brushes is they give you simple geometric primitive shapes. And this is important because you don't get hung up on the art pass, on the detailing, before you even know if you want to spend the time to see if your idea is worth pursuing. Because if your playable level or your standalone game environment works with just BSP brushes, that means it will also work as a completed level. The next advantage is BSP brushes are very fast to add and iterate. And this is important in the beginning stages when you are trying to mold and shape your idea to see if it works. So you need to be able to modify and iterate and test very quickly and not get hung up on modeling, texturing, or lighting. And BSP brushes allow you to do that. So you don't need to create anything outside in an external software just to see if your idea works. Another advantage is this BSP geometry becomes your placeholder for the final geometry, for the static meshes. So the BSP brushes become your framework onto which your final environment is built on, just like I showed you in the in-depth level creation workflow. Another advantage is you get to visualize what your environment will be like, what it will play like, what it will feel like, and what it will look like just by prototyping with BSP brushes. So if I blocked out my level, my environment, with these simple primitive geometric shapes, and when I walk through it, when I look at it, I can already visualize the completed environment, where the detail is going to go, what type of atmosphere it will have, what type of lighting I may want to include. So my mind already begins to switch to the art pass, and I begin to see, in my mind's eye, the final level, as if it's already completed. And this is very important. And the BSP brushes allow me to see that, to visualize it a lot better than if I just have a bunch of references, a bunch of concept art that I'm trying to mimic and use as inspiration. And the biggest advantage is speed. Being able to implement your idea inside UE4 Editor as soon as you have that idea and to be able to quickly block out your layout with instant iterations and being able to playtest right away to see if it works. And your BSP brushes are never a waste of time because they become the framework, the skeleton onto which the rest of your level or your standalone game environment is built on. So BSP brushes are perfect for prototyping and the blackout phases of your initial level creation. But there are some big disadvantages with BSP brushes as well. So here are the disadvantages of using BSP brushes. BSP is very slow if a lot of brushes are used. And a lot of brushes can hinder performance and often cause geometry errors, such as missing brush faces or flickering geometry. BSP brushes in UE4 are also not as intuitive or user-friendly as they are in an older game engine such as Source or Quake. So if you come from those game engines, it's going to be a little frustrating to use BSP brushes compared to those game engines. BSP brushes were not intended to be final in-game geometry. And in your final level, all BSP brushes should be replaced with static meshes. 
and this is due to how UE4 handles BSP brushes, and they're not optimized to be used as final in-game architecture. Now that doesn't mean you cannot have any brushes in your final level. You could. You just want to minimize how many of those BSP brushes you do have, and you should keep them as very simple primitive geometry, such as a floor, maybe a wall, maybe a ceiling, very simple. But you do want to aim for 100% static meshes if you can. So remember, BSP brushes are only used during prototyping and the blackout phase, but then eventually all BSP brushes should be replaced with static meshes. BSP brushes lack the detail that static meshes can provide. This is another reason you don't want to use BSP brushes as your final in-game geometry, because you can never create the amount of detail you need that you can with static meshes. And this is why BSP is done in the beginning of the process as placeholder geometry. And even though you could convert BSP brushes to a static mesh right inside UE4, the reason you don't want to do that is because BSP brushes do not have a way to control smoothing groups. So you can only have hard edges on BSP brushes. So you have this very harsh edge on all your geometry and there is no way to smooth edges or bevel them. And UE4 is not a modeling software. So even though you could convert BSP brushes to static meshes, you'll never be able to achieve and create the detail that 3D modeling software can. Another big disadvantage of BSP brushes is there is no way to control how lighting is handled on these brushes except for the light map resolution on each brush surface. That's the only option you have, as opposed to a static mesh, where there's a lot of options to choose how that static mesh can receive and handle different types of lighting, not only inside the static mesh editor, but also per instance, case by case basis, for one specific static mesh positioned in any part of your level. And there's a lot of options to choose of how lighting will be handled and controlled on a static mesh, but you don't have those options for BSP brushes, so you're very limited how lighting is handled on a BSP brush. And to add to that is there is no way to control how BSP brushes are rendered. You just get your BSP brush and that's it. But a static mesh, you have a lot of options to control over the rendering for that static mesh including a big disadvantage of not being able to add BSP brushes into a blueprint. So those are big, big disadvantages of using BSP brushes. So in the end, remember, BSP brushes are great for prototyping and black and idle level. But as you get closer to finishing your playable level or your standalone game environment, you want to limit how much BSP you have in the final release and knowing the advantages and disadvantages of BSP brushes will help you to keep that in mind as you work from prototyping to the static mesh pass to lighting pass and to the final polish pass. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe so you don't miss any more tutorials. And if you want to learn Unreal Engine 4 as an absolute beginner without wasting your time trying to look for this information yourself, Get Unreal Engine 4 Fundamentals Volume 1, the essential beginner's guide to Unreal Engine 4 course, where you will finally learn Unreal Engine 4 in just 7 hours. You'll find the link in the description below, or if you're on the website, right above you go to Full Courses and click on UE4 Fundamentals Volume 1. And I will see you in the next video.